KLX250. Just how far will this machine take me? As I continue to progress, I continue to push its limits. I continue to explore the edge of boundaries. And I decided to do Cascade Creek this day. You see, Cascade Creek is known to be a rough, steep grade from the get-go, though not incredibly challenging, but its elevation gain is enough to tire the KLX 250. So right here, I'm in second gear. Gonna climb in second gear, full throttle. It gets a lot steeper back here, but come on. I'm struggling up here. <laughs> so, right there, I was struggling quite a bit. Right here, too, I'm getting a full throttle. I'm trying to fight it. First gear pinned. Woo! Alright, got it. <laughs> there are no breaks from rocks on this trail, and no moments to relax. A while back ago, I did this trail on the Beta 350RR, and even then it proved to be a challenge going uphill. At 12,000 feet elevation, all you will find is thin air, but beauty around the mountains, the fresh air, and the tall pine trees and aspens surrounding this area. I definitely found the view. That is amazing. All right, so now we're here with the KLX 250 in one of the rockier sections. And honestly, this is first gear, putting along. That's fine, really comfortable at this speed. Damn, you know what, to be honest, I think I prefer this. Oh, okay, this is getting steep. Let's see how this section does. I definitely might have to be in the runs here a bit more. That putt's pretty good. And this is really, this is a pretty, this is a, one of the steeper grades. First gear, as long as you, you know, mid revs, no problem here. It definitely won't be able to do this on second gear though, that's for sure. But to be honest, man, I think I prefer this to explore versus my two stroke, man. At this speed, this is much more comfortable. A lot more comfortable. Oh, let's see how this, there you go. Easy, I, I barely even felt that little rock hop. Cascade Creek, it has to be one of my favorite rides. It also connects to an area called Saxon Mountain, which has amazing views. Saxon also has to be on my top rides, but it is a non-stop rocky ride, so it will definitely wear you out for the day. However, this will be for another video. But Cascade Creek, Although the lighting covers up just how rocky it is, if you just take a look at my Beta 350RR video, this was an overcast day, so it kind of gives you an idea more or less. The KLX 250 handled it with no problem. There's uh, another steep section. 
full of rocks. I'm just, you know, I'm not really hauling ass, but just to demonstrate its capabilities of, you know, just going slow. I've already been through this trail. I'm just helping my friend uh, find his phone. Unfortunately, he lost it in this trail. But I kind of just wanted to give also a demonstration to you guys about, you know, this trail. Here, this rock right here. Super comfortable. I mean, it does require, obviously, over time, you develop the skills for balance a little bit, but you kind of learn how to, you know, finesse with the with the bike a little bit. Okay, see here, I'm getting a full throttle, so I gotta clutch it back up to speed. This is the really steep one. This is one where I think I need to be in the revs. But there was a few sections I thought I was not going to be able to ride up. In these areas, I was mostly in first gear and actually pinned. The only thing that got me still moving was popping the clutch a few times just to get that momentum going. Keep in mind, this is a 12,000 feet elevation trail and I was at 1350 gearing. Right. Bringing the KLX 250 up here taught me a few things. One. The KLX 250 is dang more comfortable versus the traditional two-stroke. Putting around and riding and crawling up things was actually pretty comfortable. However, going fast is a whole different story. The suspensions are way too plush for that and can easily cause the front to wash out if caught off guard on rocky trails. Now when I start going fast on this bike, this goes away because it's just so flush. See, my friend almost washed out just a little bit right there. Ooh, ooh. But after doing Saxon Mountain and Cascade Creek, I was extremely happy I brought the KLX 250 versus my two stroke to explore these trails. It was an extremely long day and the entire trail system gave me no breaks on rocks, which was a total of around 80 miles. So imagine 80 miles of non-stop loose rocks. Anyhow, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button so you can definitely check out Saxon Mountain with the KLX 250. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Here we go, KLX 250. Woo! Come on. See, I'm losing a little bit of power right here. First gear, full throttle. See, once it flattens out, well, this is still an uphill section, but once it flattens out, 